Taking a look at temperatures as you step out the door right now. Uh, again, we are in the middle 80s and we haven't even hit the afternoon yet. And keep in mind that fall is right around the corner, so it is very warm out there. It's up to 88 degrees in Jacksonville, 86 in Gilmer, 84 in center, a bit cooler in Hemphill at 82. Dew points right now in the upper 60s to mid 70s, so it's very muggy out there. You'll certainly notice that humidity factor as you step out the door uh, late this morning. Maybe you're about to head to lunch. It's going to be pretty warm out there. We'll see lots of sunshine as well, so hopefully you had sunglasses with you and as we take a look at your forecast through the remainder of today, we'll see mostly sunny skies and that will help us warm into the middle 90s for the most part out there. So pretty similar to temperatures that we saw yesterday. And so the heat is continuing and only looks to increase over these next several days. The normal high temperature is 88 degrees, but we're going to go up and up over the next couple of days, all the way up to 98 for the high temperature on Thursday, 96 on Friday, 97 on Saturday. So uh, the heat is sticking around for us. Thankfully, the humidity will start to lower first. You'll start to notice it on Wednesday, but it will be especially noticeable on Thursday. It's not going to make much of a difference during the afternoon hours, but in the mornings you will notice that it feels a little bit more comfortable out there. But as soon as that sun gets up and going, it's going to heat up fast into those middle and upper 90s. You can keep in mind with the sun setting earlier and earlier, it's harder to warm up as much with the sun out less. And so it's quite impressive that we are able to make it into the upper 90s by the day on Thursday. That is 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Taking a look at the latest drought monitor, we have a moderate drought from solar for Springs down to Athens and down to Palestine and we continue to be concerned about this because we're going to be dry for the next seven days. So I do expect the drought monitor to, to increase increase the drought across our area. We're not going to get any help from the tropics in terms of rainfall, but we still have an active one out there. Tra uh, tropical or Hurricane Fiona now as it's crossed over the Dominican Republic, wreaking havoc to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, bringing some flooding rains there yesterday. Uh, the entire island of Puerto Rico had its power wiped out from this storm, and it's been a bad one as it continues to lift up to the north. Even though it looks like it's about to head towards the United States, it actually curves out to sea at the last minute there, so not a concern for the mainland U.S., but still will become a major hurricane later on this week. Again, to recap for today, we climb into the middle 90s. We're mostly sunny, and then tonight we'll drop down into the lower 70s with mostly clear skies and a south wind at 5 miles per hour. Your seven-day forecast looks like this. We'll see the humidity drop a bit for Thursday, but we are staying dry for the next seven days. We'll start to notice the clouds increase heading into the end of the weekend. For D.B. Texas, it is more of the same. The heat continues, and we climb to the upper 90s by Thursday. For your latest weather forecast, you can go to our website. It's KDK.com.